welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today because I'm finally going to get to see some of my girlfriends. I think it's been about three months since I've seen any of my friends um, outside because I've been kind of paranoid about having to meet people and things like that. But I'm feeling a bit less anxious now and the weather is good and yeah, it would be a good time to go for a picnic. So for the picnic, everyone's gonna bring something. I'm just gonna bring some cut fruit because I have two friends who are super good at cooking and they're gonna be cooking the mains. We're all gonna bring our own drinks as well, so I'll show you what I prepared. So I'm bringing some oranges, some strawberries, and some watermelon. So in my last video, I made some grapefruit aid and also some dehydrated fruit. And I'm going to be using this to make some drinks for today's picnic. So the first drink I'm going to be making is literally just infused water. I'm just going to take some fruit. So I've got some lemons, some limes, and I also dehydrated some strawberries. That's all you need to do to create some infused water. I'm going to be adding some ice so it's nice and cold. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. This is just plain water um, with some added fruit. Isn't it all the rage to have some fruity water nowadays? <laughs> to be honest, my drinks are just going to be simple because I don't want anything too complicated anyways. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to be making will be a grapefruit fizz. And I'm just going to add some ice and then some sparkling water and that's it! Two different types of drinks for me to drink at the picnic and stay hydrated. So I've got my sweater in my bag because you never know when the weather might turn in the UK. I'm just going to put the fruits in. And I'm going to wrap my water bottles in a cloth because they're cold and I don't want it to wet everything in my bag. So the last thing I'm going to pack with me in my bag is this fan, which is super useful. All I have to do is like plug it into my iPhone. <laughs> Definitely a recommended investment. <laughs> the picnic with my friends. It was loads of fun. I feel like I haven't seen the girls in forever and it was just really nice to kind of catch up and you know get updated about what's going on in their lives. I also got to eat lots of yummy food uh, courtesy of my friends. I'll link you to their Instagram profiles um, in the description below so please be sure to check them out. Guys I just got sunburnt from sitting out in the sun in the most awkward <laughs> position. <laughs> Update on the sunburn. I've been applying copious amounts of aloe vera, but it still hurts like crazy. It's no longer red and hurting now, but my skin is super discolored. I'll just show you really quickly. So you can see that it's 
discolored over here, over here, over here, and over here. <laughs> Moral of the story, put sunscreen on. So I'm just about to go um, meet my friends for lunch. for my meal and I'm probably just gonna spend the rest of the day chilling. So what was it like dining out? Honestly, it felt quite normal. I guess the tables were a bit more spaced apart and you can see some servers wearing masks. But overall, it just felt like a kind of normal outing, which I thought was really nice. I think some restaurants will ask you to put in your contact details, so your name and your phone number just in case any outbreaks happen and they'll be able to let you know if you have to quarantine yourself. So I think it was a positive experience overall. I won't be going out all the time, but I'm really glad that I did um, do it this time and I'm hoping everything will go back to normal now because I miss going out to eat and I kind of just miss hanging out with people outside without worrying about everything. Thanks again for watching my vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it and have a good day. Bye! Thanks for watching! Please like and subscribe to my channel for more content.